the question is a patient with compound fracture of the body of the mandible reported to the omfs unit on examination i intra inferior alveolar nerve involvement was seen with transection of the nerve in order to achieve continuation of the nerve indirect neurography was performed the following materials can be used for intubation of the nerve except so what we are seeing is the patient had a fracture of the mandible and it was a through and through fracture that means it was a compound fracture and it has involved the inferior alveolar canal and there is transection transection means there was the nerve is like this and there is a discontinuity in the nerve so as you know there if there was a discontinuity in the nerve the patient has been suffering from some form of paralysis now what has happened is we want to ensure that the nerve regenerates and it is able to get back together this is what is called as neurography where we are trying to get the two ends of the nerve together and make it in, ensure continuity of the nerve again what we need to remember is if there is no continuation of the nerve or if there is no neurography that is performed there may be a possibility of traumatic neuroma in traumatic neuroma as we remember the end of the cut ends of the nerve start proliferating and they form a huge bulbous mass in effect the patient starts complaining of paresthesia so what would happen is the nerve would become somewhat like this and this is not advised so what is done in most cases in neurorapi is a tube is placed which would help in preventing the uh, it forms basically a barrier which would help preventing the spread of the uh, nervous tissue as seen in traumatic neuroma and it would help in maintaining the continuity of the nerve so amongst the four options that are given over here vein graft ept fe that is extended poly tetrafluoroethylene and polyester both all three of them can be used as grafts whereas an arterial graft is not used because first it is very difficult to find an arterial graft two the walls of the arterial graft are much more difficult and much more thinner sorry thicker thereby the lumen that is present in the graft is much more thinner veins on the other hand have a larger lumen and the wall is thinner and can be used in order to accommodate a nerve and form a tube into which the nerve can reform and can form one continuous nerve fiber